What is up, YouTube? Thrift School over here. Got a, one little package going off for eBay. It's literally a camera that I lost. It's like 30 to 40 days late shipping. Um, now, normally that would suck. Bye, so if I'm leaving. All right. Normally that would suck, but it's not the end of the world because I did message the guy and I did let him know that his package was going to be late. I couldn't find it. I said, do you want to cancel the order? I have no idea how long it's going to take. And he basically just said, nah, man, it's cool. Just let me know when you find it. I really want the camera. I was like, all right, cool. That works for me. So uh, it's really late, but I found it. It was in the back of my closet. I don't know why I put it in there, but it's in there. Also in there, right there, Amazon FBA shipment. Oh my gosh, that was cold. Why did I do that? Um, it snowed a little bit. This is all ice under here. It is just... You can see how much my foot's slipping. The entire driveway is like that. I mean, it's just uh, not so nice out here. This car hasn't been turned on for a while. We got some icicles, icicles hanging from everything. It has got to be, I don't know. Let's actually see how cold it is because I'm freezing. 10 degrees, okay. So yeah, it's pretty cold out. Um, I wish I was wearing a coat or something, but I'm not. But yeah, let's go. I, uh, oh yeah, I didn't even tell you guys what I'm doing. All right, so basically what I'm doing is dropping off those packages and I'm doing a meetup with a guy from the interwebs, uh, Facebook marketplace, I think it was. Uh, he's selling a bunch of, was it GameCube games? No, PS3 games. He's selling PS3 games. I picked 12 out of his picture. He had 52 of them. I picked 12 good ones for $40. So what's the math there? A little under four bucks a game, $3.33 a game, I think is what it comes out to. So um, not too bad there. And there's a thrift store right next to where I'm meeting him. So we're going thrifting. It's 8.30 now. I should get at the thrift store right around nine o'clock. And then I'm meeting him at 10. So this is gonna work out perfectly. All right, so here we are right outside of the thrift store. It's not super packed right now. It is still early. They just opened a couple minutes ago. Uh, what time is it actually? Let's take a look. 9.04. So yeah, we still got lots of time. We have until 10 o'clock to meet the guy over at Ocean State Job Lot, which I believe is just down the road over there. So let's see, we got 50% off white or blue. 25% off red. Not bad. Let's see what we find, guys. Yeah, definitely some good ones in here. I'll grab all the winners. All right, so I found a few games in there. They're priced a little high, and then I found this graphic novel comic set. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, it's half off. It's only $10. They seem to be worth about five bucks a book after fees, so I'll triple my money. Which, you know, that's not too bad. But we're still looking. We'll see what we find. I always try and keep an eye out for Wilton Cake Pants. There's one down there at Choo Choo Train. We'll come back for it. Gotta look at the games now. I mean, some of these prices are insane. $13 for this little toy. Now, what would you guys do? The rank's not horrible. It's going for 102 collectibles at 65. Now, I highly, highly can tell that that is jacked up. No way some kid is, no way parents gonna spend over $100 on this little toy for their kid. It's just a little Fisher Price toy. So, I, it's 25% off, so it's about 10 bucks. I mean, $15 for that toy, $10 for that toy, $20 for this used test truck. I mean, I don't know what the heck is going on here, but I'm gonna look up Camel 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 on this, which is a website that you know, you can see the price history and what it's sold for in the past. So we're gonna take a look at that right now. All right, so this pretty much proved it. You could see when the price jumped up. That's about three months ago. And I can click on the sales rank. And there we go. So you can see that it hasn't sold at all at that crazy price. It does sell for around 20 something uh, to 30. But at $10, I'm not 100% sure what the fees are. I'm probably just gonna leave it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it. So I'm going through all the large electronics right now. These guys seem to be worth it, but they don't have the remotes, and I don't like to sell them without the remote. They do want 13 bucks a pop. Some of them are 10 for the DVD player. Some are, that one's 20 for that old school Denon. Found some sealed board games in here. 
and uh, I did find two systems that seem to be worth it because I do have to buy the remotes and test them. I try to test them before I leave here. There are TVs for me to test on, so that's definitely going to be helpful. Um, we'll take a look at the clothing also. It's pretty sweet. It's a uh, old school look. It's not. I don't think it's vintage or anything. It's 15 bucks though. It's Atlanta Braves baseball. Got the big A. It's kind of nice, but for 15 dollars, it's pretty crazy. Seems like a lot of the prices here have gone way up since last time I was here. I think I say that every time I come here, but they just keep going up. I don't know why. And the shelves are looking more and more full each time because nobody's spending this crazy money. But you know, you just you'll still find stuff. Perfect example, Tommy Bahamas for 13 bucks. What is going on? Holy moly. Oh, there's Tommy Bahama for eight bucks. That's still way too much. I remember I used to buy them here for two, three, four dollars. It looks like even the knockoff brand stuff isn't really priced good either. I mean, five bucks isn't horrible, but that's for a no-name brand, no nothing. Darn, darn, darn. Oh, found another time Bahama, $10. <laughs> what is, oh my gosh. And they're just sitting here. I don't think anybody's gonna actually spend $10 on a thrift store shirt. I just don't think it's gonna happen. REI, I do really good with that brand. Six bucks, 25% uh, off. Not bad, but I'd really like to spend closer to three. So I saw Rally Roots pick this brand up, Vince. It's $10, but it's 25% off. So it's actually, yeah, I think, what, $7.50? But the cool thing is it's brand new with tags, and the tags say $95. Um, I think I'm still gonna pass, though, only because it's pretty plain. And I was looking at the comps over on eBay, and they really don't look good. I remember they were saying that they could get good money out of it, but there's brand new right there for $20, and all the rest aren't really selling. So, Hey guys, if you watch my video, there's one that sold for 44 best offer. I'm sure they took a best offer. So guys, let me know. <laughs> Do you guys pick up Vince? Because it doesn't really seem to be selling well, especially brand new. So I'm going to leave that one behind. Even though it is Pima Cotton, but still leaving it behind. Oh, there's Marmot. That's actually half off, but it's just a t-shirt. So I'm not even going to bother with that. It's still too much money. Haven't found a single piece of clothing yet, but we're still looking. Here's another great brand to be on the lookout for, but for quarter off, so $7.50, it's still a little too much, especially for the size, small. These go for about 25 bucks all day. Uh, cool, they always have metal buttons, but I'm definitely not spending $7.50 on it. And then here's Brooks Brothers like sleepwear, pajama. Not gonna bother with that. Here's another Tommy Bahama, 15 bucks though. Another one for 10, another one for 13. Oh my gosh. So many good brands that I want to grab, but look at that RVCA 10. Holy moly. Yeah, definitely a, a new pricer here going insane. It's all right. I'll keep coming back. I'll still find some stuff, as you guys can see. I definitely still find stuff. Uh, it's just getting a little bit harder. You just have to pick through more stuff. And I'll call them out. Hey, people always tell me if you go thrifting and you talk about these brands yada 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 people are going to start pricing up well if they're watching guys lower your price otherwise stuff's going to sit because nobody's going to buy it there <laughs> oh I'm still tired and i'm meeting that guy in about 20 minutes so i gotta leave here very soon and then i'll show you guys that awesome pickup hello rally roots again look at that 15 bucks they're all 25 percent off they're all brand new 95 dollars they're all vince so they're about 10 bucks. There's a lot of them here. They're all brand new also. So I don't know guys, what would you do? I mean, the comps just didn't look good. All right, so I had a cart with a bunch of good stuff in it and then the ATM there was broken. I only had $42 in cash on me and I spent just under that. So I had to put a few things back. I didn't get the uh, big combo player. I didn't get a few other things only because I didn't have time to test it and I had to still buy a remote. Technically, that would have made me, you know, probably my biggest return out of everything there, but I left it behind for those two reasons. The other reason, the other things are pretty foolproof. They're all sealed, things like that. So I was able to just, you know, package them up, 
and send them off to Amazon just stick a label on them really I don't have to wrap them in bubble wrap and buy extra parts for them uh, so we're pulling over to the bank right now and then I'm gonna be meeting up with this guy yeah here we are TD Bank gotta get my money money and then we're, we're meeting like right over there and there's a goodwill over there so it's gonna be good my car is shedding ice like crazy let's say bye bye oh it didn't even go anywhere well now it's sitting down in there it is still pretty cold temperature is definitely rising it's 29 right now 959 we got to get there oh my gosh i am late um i'm only like three minutes away but still i think the guy messaged me you could see goodwill right up there so we're gonna hit up goodwill after and uh, i took a hundred dollars out just in case you never know if you're gonna find better stuff at pawn shops <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll hit up some pawn shops so I grab some extra cash. I don't know how far my journeys will take me today, but maybe I'll drive all the way down to Danbury, which is down by New York City area, New York border. So we might do that today. All right, we just met out front of Ocean State Job Lot. I got my bag right here filled with PS3 games. Paid 40 bucks for 12 of them. We got Toy Story 3, Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Generations. SpongeBob's Robotic Revenge, Ghostbusters. That's actually one of the more valuable Ghostbusters. There's a couple different Ghostbusters games, but that's the good one. Uh, we have Prince of Persia Trilogy, Fuel, Blur, and come on, baby. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2, Fight Night Champion, Blitz the League 2, and Toy Story Mania. Uh, guys, two good sports games right here. Fight Night Champion and Blitz the League 2. Definitely keep an eye out for this one. This is almost $30. It's got Lawrence Taylor in it. It's kind of like a nitty-gritty football game where you can break bones and do dirty hits and stuff. It, you can knee people in the stomach. It's actually pretty ridiculously fun. But yeah, definitely some good games here. I'm going to hit up that Goodwill right now and see what we find. All right, Goodwill was super close. Basically just down the road, there is the sign. Pulling in back here next to probably this homeless dude. I don't really know 100%. But uh, people are always walking all over uh, Waterbury. Waterbury is not the best place, guys. And that's why it surprises me when I see prices at some of these Goodwills and other thrift stores shooting through the roof because people here don't really have a lot of money. And uh, I'm just surprised when I see toys and games for 15, 20 bucks when they're selling on Amazon for eight, nine dollars. It's just, it's kind of ridiculous, but this Goodwill never does too well for me. I found one nice video game here not too long ago. Um, I'm trying to remember what it was. It was a rare video. Oh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis for the Xbox is what I found here last time. So I'm just gonna leave those right there. They should be safe. Not gonna be in here too long. And let's just hope we find some good stuff. All right. Yeah, like I said, guys, I don't really usually find a lot of stuff here. It's nice when I do, but it's just not something that usually happens. And I'll film in here for you guys. You guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. But I just don't ever really find that much in here. 50% off green this week. Hopefully, we'll find some green. Oh, there's a shopping cart. I'll just take the shopping cart. Why not? First things first. Well, over there is packed. So we'll check over here first go down to the electronics section and uh, I'll even check some clothing but mostly I'm looking for stuff for Amazon but you know I like to buy clothing too somebody's sourcing all right thought that person was sourcing and scanning books but she's actually buying them for herself pretty interesting okay let's see what we got going on here uh, sometimes these new track lights could be worth money I'll scan those up um that's about it guys i mean this electronic section is pretty depressing uh this old broken down toaster oven guys look at the price bam 25 dollars for this thing dude it is literally rusted and busted 25 dollars this thing the handle's missing eight dollars this old printer 20 dollars i mean it's it's insane the prices in this town look at this thing this old fax machine with tape residue $25 insane guys six dollar toaster I don't know so what I'm gonna do is scan the actually how much are these four bucks a piece that's not horrible we'll see if they're worth anything so it's actually many hours later 
and I went in and out of that Goodwill so fast that, oh, I got a hair on the camera. I went in and out of that Goodwill so fast, guys. Didn't find a single thing. I drove all the way down to Danbury, so we're hitting up two Goodwills and a few pawn shops. We gotta find some more stuff today, guys. Definitely want some more stuff. Gotta make more money, and money makes the world go around, right? So let's go. Woo! Snow is coming down. Sky is gray. Don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but snow's really coming down right now. We just left one store, picked up this Christmas Opoly for $2. Not too bad, it's only going for about, I think 15 to 20, but hey, money's money, going off to the next one. All right, here we are. So I haven't been to this particular Goodwill in, oh my gosh, at least three to four months, possibly longer. So it's gonna be exciting to see what we find. If I find nothing, well, that'll be sad because I've done pretty pretty good at this Goodwill before. So hopefully I actually find some good stuff. There's another Goodwill down that way along with the Savers that I always skip because Savers is trash in Connecticut. So I'm not going there. And then there's a few pawn shops down the road over there that we're gonna try and hit up and see what we got. Chucky Cheese Pizza Maker. It's kind of cool. Oh. $5. Last one I bought of these was $6. So I know that $5 is a good deal. That's one good thing about thrifting all the time. You start to run into things that you've seen lots of times. Now, this white label means it's from Target. So $65 is insane. $35. These things are ridiculous. There's a $10 Lego set that's been open I bet you there's pieces missing so we don't even really bother with that stuff it looks like their only video game is Madden 08 and Madden 05 oh and Guitar Hero 3 so nothing good in the video game department but we're gonna look around I'll check back in with you guys when I find a few things all right just walked out of that goodwill it's really snowing now I didn't think there was snow in the forecast today but I guess I was wrong. Where are my keys? Here, my keys gotta get everything inside the car. I picked up uh, a few pieces of clothing, actually. Three pieces that I'll show you guys a little bit later. And a Wilton uh, mold for pops or something like that. Not 100% sure, but it was worth money. So I grabbed it. And uh, yeah, so that's that. We're done with there. Um, I'm thinking about hitting up the pawn shop before the other Goodwill. Yeah, let, let's hit up the pawn shop before the other Goodwill because I have some cash on me and it's burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> let's go. So this pawn shop that I'm driving to, the people that work there are a little rough around the edges um, and you're going to run into that a lot at pawn shops, to be honest. The, a lot of the workers there either, you know, they, they try to come off all tough and they're always watching you a little bit because pawn shops can be a little sketchy inside. Here it is right over here on the right side. So. Don't let that get you down. There's been times where I go in here and the guy gives me an attitude the entire time and I'll ask him if we could work out a deal on something and he just says no right to my face and then looks away. And it just happens and I run into that a lot at pawn shops. So I wouldn't really worry too much. I know some people get nervous about going inside of pawn shops. This one's called, what, Hat City Pawn. So hopefully it's pretty good. I'm just gonna look stuff up. I don't care if he's gonna give me an attitude. I just kill him with kindness, you know? Gotta be kind. Oh, what's up? You can see me in the window. Woo! The snow is coming down. It's getting colder and colder outside. I thought it was supposed to get warmer and warmer. All right, so the jerk guy was working in there, but I didn't have to deal with him at all. There was somebody else behind the counter, and I bought these two games right here, Just Dance Kids 2 and Nicktoons MLB. They both go for about 15 bucks a piece. They wanted $5 each. The dude that was ringing me out was wearing a Miami Dolphins hat. And I know a lot about the Miami Dolphins because I'm a Miami Dolphins fan. So I started talking about this hat that one of the wide receivers was Instagramming or tweeting out. And he was like, oh yeah, that hat. And uh, he's like, I'm going to go take a look. And 
he only charged me five bucks for the pair. I didn't even ask for a discount. I just gave him the money and he just only charged me five bucks. So it helps to be nice to people, guys. Be as nice as you can. It also helps to know a little bit about uh, sports teams. I don't know, it worked in this case. So now we're going to Goodwill. Gonna get some good deals. I haven't found that that much today, but I mean, I, I've been finding some good stuff. So let's go. All right, here we are going into Goodwill and it's blurry, but it should get better. There we go. Woohoo. All right, hopefully we find some good stuff in here. Haven't been in this one in a long time either, so it might be great, it might be horrible. Who knows how the prices have changed. Prices at that other place were a little high, so kind of expecting the same here since this is just down the road. This is probably the funniest thing I've ever seen. Halo 2, $15. Oblivion, $12. DDR, $30. Fusion Frenzy 2, $20. When I said their prices might be high, didn't think they'd be this high. NHL hockey, twenty dollars. Dude, they're tripping. So the prices here are pretty crazy, but we're still gonna be looking around for sure and see what we find. I'll check the clothing. I haven't found anything. Everything else is way too overpriced. So I've never had good luck with Footjoy brand. It does have a logo right there. Not sure what that is, but. It is brand new with tags, extra large. There's a big foot joy right there. It's only four dollars. Thinking about grabbing it just because it is brand new with tags, but I've never had luck with this brand. I've only ever sold this brand when it has the FJ right there. If it doesn't have it right there on the collar, then I've never been able to sell one, even at like twenty dollars. But this one is brand new, so I think for four dollars I'll take it. I do have a few pieces in the cart right now, but we're gonna keep looking. Uh, time to check this side. All right, leaving that Goodwill with a bag full of clothing. That's all I got, but I got some good brands in here. Some Tommy Hilfiger, some Spider. Um, I got one brand I've never heard of before. I already forgot the name of it because I've never heard of it before, but that's in there. Uh, the snow's not really sticking. It's sticking to the car a little bit, but um, besides that, not too bad. But yeah, so we're gonna keep going. You can see it's sticking to my hair a little bit, maybe, sort of, you can't really tell. Whatever. I decided I was gonna swing by Stu Leonard's, the world's largest dairy store. And yeah, it's right here in Connecticut. It's uh, really is, says the world's largest dairy store. They sell ice cream and smoothies and all that good stuff. So yeah, fun stuff, there we go. Now you can see it, ooh, beautiful. I don't know what I'm getting in here. I'm freaking hungry. Guys, always remember to pack stuff with you when you go out sourcing because I am starving. Interesting dairy store. There we go. Oh, look at that over there. We got an upside down cow for some reason. Don't really know why. One of my favorite things I used to do here when I was younger, you could pull on this cow Oh, there's the Mickey doing flips. You can pull on this cow in here and he'll move for you. Look at those chickens. We got some, lots of animatronics here. Oh, now they have the three rules of water safety. That's stupid, Stewie's duck. I don't even wanna press him, I'm trying to find the cow. Once I find the cow, I'll be happy. Ooh, clams. There's more chickens. <gasps> There's the cow. Oh, somebody's cart's in front of the cow. I can't pull his string right now, sadly. Unless I move that person's cart, but I don't want to do that. All right, guys, so we are back here at the house. I am chilling here at the table. I'm gonna show you guys everything I picked up besides, you know, the stuff I already showed you. I showed you the uh, PS3 games from earlier in the day. You already saw those, you saw the big uh, board game I got, but let's go over a lot of the clothing and a few other little things that I got here and there. So in this first bag, we do have two video games. Uh, I think I showed you guys, yeah, I definitely did. These are from that pawn shop, Just Dance, Kids 2 and Nicktoons MLB. Not too bad, pretty decent games there. Now let's just hop right into the clothing. I got some pretty cool stuff, guys, for real. Right here, this is a Peter Millar. Always look for the thing that says Summer Comfort underneath. I, I paid $6, no, $5 for this, and uh, I believe I could sell it for $25 to $30. Uh, this right here, it's a brand that's decent for some items, not so great for others. The brand is Duluth Trading Co. 
and I paid five dollars for this as well. The reason why I picked it up is because it's a two X, no, a three XL tall, so it's massive. I definitely think I could get thirty-five dollars for that. Next, we have another Peter Millar Summer Comfort. Definitely keep an eye out for the Summer Comfort. These are the ones that sell for good money. These are the ones that sell fast. It does have a cool little golf emblem right there. It's a it looks like a honeybee of some sort. I'm not 100% sure, but um, that's pretty sweet. I paid $4 for that one, and I definitely think I can get upwards of 25 to 30 bucks. Next, I did buy that Foot Joy that I believe I was showing you guys on camera. Here it is, brand new with tags, $4. I just figured, why not? It's brand new, right? After that, what do we have? Oh, this is a great brand to keep an eye out for right here. Spider, that's the logo. There's it on the back right there. This was $4. It's like some training workout athletic thing. There's a logo right there on the chest. Don't really know what I'll get for it. 25 bucks maybe. Only paid four, so not too bad. Next, this is super interesting. This was only $4 as well. You can see the front right there. It's a giant eagle. And on the back, uh, on the front, it also says what it says on the back. It's Harley Davidson, but this is Stamford, Connecticut. I don't know how much that'll hurt the value because you got to be from Stamford or Connecticut to want this. And it's an XL, so it's a good size. We'll see what it goes for. I really have no idea. I couldn't find a single one on eBay. All right, next. We got this, and this is actually a good comps. This is Hooters of New York City. So New York City I figured would be better than like some random town and uh, it seems to the last one sold at $18 and there's only been two that sold, only two uh, completed listings. So that's kind of weird to me that there's only two completed listings but I bet I could get 20 bucks out of that. I paid four dollars. Next, is this the brand that I'd never heard of before? Yes, it is. Okay, so I've never heard of this brand before and I don't know if you guys have. I paid five dollars for it right here stormy chromar something like that chromer stanley uh stonely chromer i don't know um interesting shirt just a regular like button down looks like it's going for about 40 to 45 dollars i paid five bucks for it. it is a size small so maybe it won't go for as much but i'm really hoping it does okay what do we have i'm just gonna try and pull everything out of this bag uh, i got this for myself because it's pretty cool uh, there it is, Tommy Hilfiger, and it's brand new with tags. That's the good part. See, there's Tommy. It's pretty nice, size medium. I mean, if I want, I paid $10 for it, but since it's brand new with tags, if I wanted to sell it, I'm sure I could get some good money out of it. What do we have right here? This is Nike, and this is a cool Nike. I paid $4 for it. Look at that cool dead head thing right there. Uh, it's hyper cool. Uh, Nike Combat. I know it's hard to see, but pretty interesting. It's a tank top. I don't really know what it can go for. Like I said, I paid four bucks. I'm hoping if I could get 20, 25 out of it, I'll be happy. 25 for sure. Um, this, I'm surprised this was just sitting there, only marked at five dollars. It's a Robert Graham. I know it's hard to see, but yeah, Robert Graham. Interesting design. Cool pattern. All embroidered. It has flip cuffs that look pretty awesome. So, I mean, this could be, it's a size small, so that will hurt the value. I'm hoping for like $30, $35 on that. Off to this bag. All right, what do we have here? This I paid $6 for. It is Champion, and it's spell out there. Um, here's the logo right there. I don't know if it's vintage or not. It says made in Vietnam. I don't really think that matters. But I just figured for $6, a little spell out logo. It's interesting enough. And it's kind of heavy duty. We'll see, it has a little C on the sleeve. We'll see what it actually ends up going for. I really have no idea. Here is, I paid $4 for this. Uh, kind of by mistake, it's Peter Millar, but it's not Summer Comfort. These ones do take much longer to sell. People are looking for Summer Comfort, just the material, I suppose. Um, but for four bucks, you know, even if I could get twenty, twenty-five dollars out of it, I'll be very happy. This is Wilton. Um, I know a lot of people are restricted in Wilton. I'm not. So this is just some cake molds. Two dollars. I'll make five or six bucks after fees. 
Uh, and then the last piece of clothing in here is another Peter Millar. Today was the day of Peter Millar. I don't know why. I mean, I don't only look for this brand. I just found so many of them. This was only $5. It does have a country club crest on it, but it's this really nice soft cotton. And I figure for five bucks, if I can get 25 out of this, I'm going to price it higher, but if I can get 25 out of it, I'll be very happy. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions or any comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.